So I'm going to show you how this semicircle of golf balls can help you straighten out any shot that you might be struggling with. And trust me, this works. So offline shots come from a club path which is cutting across the golf ball. You can see this drive on the screen here goes way out to the right. It's because I swung quite a significant amount out to win. So if your club path is out to win or into out, you'll be putting curve on your golf ball. And very often that curve is uncontrollable, unpredictable. That's why you miss fairways, that's why you miss greens. So how's this semicircle of balls gonna help that? Well, this one in the middle, if I set myself up to that, I'm gonna take my normal set, I've got myself a six iron here, that's my normal ball position. So if I make a normal goal swing, I would be able to hit that ball and hopefully get a pretty good result. Now, my club path with a six iron is pretty close to zero, it's pretty straight. So therefore, I would have no issues making contact with that ball and hitting a good shot. But could I hit these golf balls from a normal setup position? Or could I hit these golf balls from a normal setup position? Well, at first glance, I'm pretty sure you'd say, absolutely not. There's no way I could hit that golf ball because it's just so far out in front of me and so far kind of around to my left. And vice versa, you'd say that I, there's no way I can hit that golf ball. But I could. And it would all come down to where my shoulders are aligned as I do that. Have a look at this golf ball here. Where would my shoulders be aligned? Well, hopefully where I'm trying to hit it. If we go to impact, my shoulders would again be around about square. My torso would be a little bit open, but a tip, the tips of my shoulders would be pointing down towards my target. So let's take this golf ball here, this extreme forward ball position. I can't hit it, but I can. What I would do is I could hit it now. So I absolutely have not moved my feet, but look at where my shoulder position is here. It's now pointing, well, nowhere near the fairway. It's pointing over towards that tree over there and those golfers. But if I had my shoulders here at impact, well, I could absolutely strike that golf ball. No problem at all. But where would the club path be? Well, it would be significantly, extremely out to in. What about this golf ball over here? Well, I'm sure you've guessed what's gonna happen now. I could hit that golf ball, but for me to hit that ball, my shoulders have got to be severely closed. They're the complete opposite direction. So from there, with closed shoulders, as you can see, I could hit that golf ball. So for me to hit any of the golf balls on this side, I would need to have my shoulders more open. And to hit any of the golf balls on this side, I would need to have my shoulders more closed. So let's not go to the extreme. Let's go to this golf ball here and this golf ball here. For me to take a setup and hit that golf ball, I would always, always have an out to in path. To hit this golf ball over here, I would always have to have an in to out path. And it's all to do with my shoulders. So if you move the ball around in your stance, it is by far one of the most powerful things that you can do to change your goal sink. Because if you don't change your goal sync, you will miss the ball. And trust me, you're not gonna miss the ball. Your brain will not allow you to swing and miss. You will do something different. You will do whatever you need to do to make contact. Now that contact might not be great, and the result might not be great, but your goal sync will change. So if you are a slicer of the golf ball, a fader of the golf ball, someone who swings out to in, you would need to be hitting golf balls from this side of the semicircle. These three golf balls here would help. If you're someone who hooks the ball, draws the ball, sort of me if I'm not swinging great, I would hit balls from this side of the semicircle. And it's massively, massively gonna help. Yeah, yes, this is extreme, but you know what? In practice, that's what you have to do. You have to go to the extreme, put yourself out of your comfort zone because what you've been doing up to now hasn't worked. So let me go ahead and show you all of these shots and you'll see exactly what I mean. So set up here. Could I hit this golf ball over here with a severely into out path? Absolutely, I would go back, I would keep my shoulders closed, I would bring the club down. I hit it, I've lost it, it's not a great swing, but guess what my path was, in to out. What about the ball over here, this forward golf ball? Up, spin the shoulders, can I then hit it? Yes, I can. That was an out to win path. Now I didn't move my feet, but I was able to hit that ball, hit that ball with an in to out path and an out to in path. Super extreme, but start there. Then let's go to the next one. 
So let's have a look at this golf ball here. This is great for those golfers who rotate early, spin out, lunge at the ball. If your sequencing is poor, so many of you out there. What you're gonna feel when you do this little exercise is that the move you want to make, this sort of lunge with the shoulder where the club comes over the top, guess what? I can hit these two, I can't hit that one. So what it's gonna train you to do, and this is where it's so clever and so powerful, it's gonna train you to make your backswing hold your shoulders because you'll learn and you'll feel that if you hold your shoulders, your arms can come down and that will allow you to hit this golf ball. But again, it's gonna be on a very much an in to out path. But again, it's training me to the right thing. Let's say you're someone who hooks the ball. You get to the top and you tip your body back, you drop the club under, that's where your hook comes from. Well, you can now not hit that forward ball. The forward ball for you is gonna train you to, from the top, feel like there's a little bit more rotation, the shoulders are working a little bit harder, the club's moving a little bit more in front of you, because if you do that, it will allow you to swing a little bit more out to in. I hit two golf balls at the same time there, that wasn't planned, so let's uh, introduce another ball. But you can see what that did, it got me to swing a little bit more out to in. And then we come to these two golf balls. Now these are the ones that, reality, you would actually practice. These are the ones that are gonna make it difficult for you to hit them, but it's actually gonna be really beneficial. So the out to win golfer, the one who hits that fade, we're now moving that ball a little bit back in the stance. So let's just move that one out of the way. This is great because it's again, it's gonna help me keep my back to the target. It's gonna allow me to let my arms drop. And if I hit this ball correctly with my six iron, I should be able to get a little draw. There you can see, ball started out right, it drew back. I can't measure my path because I haven't got anything here, but I know my path was more in to out. Okay, and then if we do the opposite one, we set ourselves up to this ball, move it out the way. Now, if I try and hit that forward ball, I'm gonna have to make a very different movement. And guess what? The ball starts left, it curves back. That was a fade. So two swings, back to back, ball back, I drew it, ball forward, I faded it. Do you know what I didn't do on any of those swings? I didn't think about my goal swing. I didn't try from the top to drop the club under or try and move the club out. What I did was I focused on the ball. I knew I had to make contact with that ball and I let my body organize itself in order to do that. So powerful. You can change your goal swing without thinking about your goal swing, but just by focusing on saying to yourself, can I make contact with the ball that I'm looking at. Because like I said right at the start, you will not swing and miss the ball. Your brain won't let you. You're gonna do something to hit it. And moving the ball is one of the most powerful things I found. Now you might be looking at this and saying, Chris, there's no way I'm gonna go on the golf course and put the ball here and put the ball here. And I would agree. This is a practice routine. It's something you can do in practice to really change your goal swing. And it kind of forces a change for the reasons we've explained. Now, when we look at the great players, you know, the players that play on the world tours, and I'm not putting myself in that category, but I do this as well. On the course, I use ball position to shape my shots. Not anywhere near as extreme as what we've done in this video. But if I'm taking a six iron and I want to fade it, I move it a little bit further up in my stance, maybe one ball. And then if I want to draw it, I move the ball one ball further back in my stance. I'm using the same principles, the same ideas, but not to those extremes. There's other things I do as well in terms of alignment and club face, but moving the ball, changes the path of the golf club. If you change the path on the golf club, you can take out, reduce, or add in any curve that you want. And that is why this is such a powerful little exercise. Now, what you can then do is go ahead and have those same ideas, but with a normal ball position. So for me, I tend to be a little bit of an into out player if I'm not swinging well. So what I would do is I'd take my setup and I'd almost visualize a ball that's, you know, slightly forward. Remember, we said those of you who draw the ball anything this side is gonna be beneficial. So I take my setup and I almost visualize trying to hit a golf ball on that forward side of the circle. And for me, what that does is it neutralizes my path a little bit and helps me hit them a little straighter. And that one actually faded. So perfect, tells me exactly what I need to do. I actually move my path a little bit out to win. The ball position drill and the ideas changed my goal sync and it gave me the results and that was pretty quick as well. So if you want quick results, instant results, try that little exercise during practice. It's brilliant, it's one of the best ways I've found to straighten out any goal shot that you might be hitting.